So in this little video, I'm going to show you how to use the class notebook um, elements of Teams. So I'm here, I'm a student in uh, Mr. Pepper's uh, RS class. Um, and first thing you'll need to do, this is uh, the kind of home page that Mr. Pepper's put in on his information. But well, I'm going to click this button, class notebook at the top. And what we're going to do is we're basically going to use the computer like an exercise book. Uh, but the key difference is your teacher will be able to read it and check it and you'll be able to organise it. Uh, so I'm on Class Notebook now. It gives me a bit of information here, but the crucial navigation part is here. And that's what you'll need to use. So you click on the arrow and it starts uh, showing you like the information. Um, content library is where your teacher will post the information. So they might... I know, do give you some tasks in there, or they might give you some information there. Um, you're you have a going to record it in uh, the place that uh, follows your name. So there's my name, and I'm going to record it in the class notes section because I'm making some notes on a topic. Uh, what you can do is I've already got a couple of topics there, but we can start a new page. Uh, it's worth calling it. Um, maybe the title of the unit. So um, I'm going to call it uh, this one C6 rate. And I'm just going to leave that first one like that. And then what I can do is I can add a new page and I can make this one a sub page. So it's kind of organizing it. So this one, this untitled page currently belongs in C6 rates. And that'll make it easier for you to navigate and also easier for the teacher to navigate. Uh, so I'm just going to name this one. Uh, so this first one is going to be about how temperature affects the rate of reaction. And your teacher might ask you to make some notes and then answer some questions. So I'm just going to write something about uh, temperature. Uh, you can add pictures in here. Um, so I've got a picture here. I'm just going to uh, copy this one, I think. Or maybe this one. Copy image. And then in order to paste it, I've got to press Control and V. It won't let me just right click and paste. And then what you can do is you can maybe explain that picture. So as you can see, and there we go. We've got some notes. Uh, if you want to, you could highlight bits. Uh, it's also got a draw function, so if you wanted to kind of do like freestyle highlighting, it would let you do that. Uh, it's got a pen, so you could uh, maybe do your own diagrams. Um, this might be really useful, okay, so type text. Uh, so if you want to You want to type some text, you could do that. And it will allow you to move it around. Okay, so that might be useful if you may be filling in a worksheet. Uh, you could do it like that. And we've also got rubber. I'm going to get rid of that highlighting, but not very good. Uh, so that is how you create. Um, your class notes and then what you can do if I want is another new page uh, let's say the next thing in this topic is concentration then what I can do is I can write a little title and then 
got that on it. Uh, another new page, I could call this the next topic. So it'll basically look like a very, very neat, very organized version of your exercise book. So you can see I've got topics and subtopics. And remember, this all happens in the class notebook section and to navigate it, you need to use the arrow.